So, I noticed I got some, I want to say welcome to my old subscribers and uh, my few uh, new subscribers. I will let you know something today. Now, lesson of the day. And this is something that I said on my Facebook page. When we are in heated discussions of what we need to do as a people, what we need to be focusing on is our business, right? Now, let's say people non-black, white are in the room and they want to butter in our discussions. But she's always, let's always keep this in mind. They have no claim in our discussions. If they are not married to a black person, I said that I said this straight in my Facebook page, all 441 of my friends, many of them being white, uh, I told them directly on my face, people who personally know me, I said, you have no claim in our discussion. Now, if you are not mixed, you're not black, uh, not, uh, you, you, you not even have no mixed kids, you don't have no black people that you adopted that you take care of or are not the guardians of do not include yourself in a discussion that even remotely affect you or someone close to you i don't care if you do have any cousins if you are not having close type contact with him don't bother trying to button this discussion this is a black discussion stay the fuck out of it okay now i did lose some friends yes i did but oh well because why would you want someone who wants to try to benefit from our discussion? Because when black people actually start to get our shit together, we are our, our money and the culture goes with it. Our approval of what society likes to put upon us is no longer valid because we no longer feel it. Yeah. And another thing. When it comes to double standards, Ryan Lochte and uh, Gabby Douglas. Now, Gabby Douglas, they're both, Gabby Douglas is like, I think she's like a, I, I don't know what kind of fish. She, she's a, she, she's a, she's a, she's a U.S. Olympian athlete. Ryan Lochte specifically a swimmer in the Olympics. Now, Gabby Douglas is, a, I think she's a runner. Uh, Ryan Lochte is a swimmer, okay? Um, if y'all know, the, if you don't know who this guy is, look him up. He's all over the news because he actually got caught in Brazil. He damaged some property, peed on it, and he got caught by the uh, uh, Brazilian uh, police, and they made him pay. And right before he was forced to pay for the property damage that he caused, he was held at gunpoint. That's what made him pay for the property damage he had caused. Now, follow me when I say this. If the mainstream dominant society is going to downplay that this guy was actually an American, he was representing the U.S., and he lied and lied about how he was um, held at gunpoint, what he did was it's because he damaged property in another person's country, lied about it, and then wants to be held, doesn't want to be held accountable, is trying to know about it, trying to, he did kind of admit to his wrong, but the fact that the dominant society is letting him downplay his misconduct in another country is blasphemy. Gabby Douglas, someone wants to, all non-black people, who want to hold black people accountable or want to get around you and basically you know when Gab okay Gabby Douglas was scrutinized heavily for not having uh, having her her right hand over her heart during the national anthem but Ryan Lochte also Olympian now did you see a racial hypocrisy here Gabby Douglas didn't Gabby, du Gabby Douglas didn't uh, her hand over her during the National Anthem. Ryan Lochte 
basically damaged property in another person in another country and lied about it and it, it left his buddies hanging so that's worse but he's being uh scrutinized so my point is you get around some non-black people you do not let them get you to convince them uh, to, well, not convince them, but convince you that you need to go in hard on your race and they're not going hard on their people for stuff that they do that's way worse. And another example, uh, the guy who the guy who played the father on 7th Heaven back in the early, late 90s, early 2000s, this guy admitted to rape. Now, Nate, Ro the guy named Nate Roberts, I think, or the, the guy who uh, who made the movie, made and started the movie, uh, um, shit, was it uh, Birth of a Nation? It was that, it was that Turner movie, the new Nat Turner movie. This brother was uh, scrutinized for an alleged rape that he was acquitted for. Basically, that means you were found innocent. There was enough evidence, and it wasn't true. Basically, it was you. You're with a white woman. You was she was a jump off, and then she, in order to get back at her, she said it was rape. But he was just. It was just a good call. He didn't rape her. Do not let the dominant society trick you into throwing another black person under the bus. And if you do, it should be on your terms, because he's our brother. He's or that's our sister, or whatever. Whoever name may be black. Don't let anyone in the dominant society do that. Do not let them. And it's just no hate, you know, if you if you're a non-black person, but it's about having the code of conduct, which, you know, I know me about just newly. It's just stuff new that I do for myself. But just remember these things. But that's all for now. If I come with a new idea, like, share, comment, subscribe. West Coast Fred out. Later.